Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flaregun for Tutorial Cinema, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys very simply how to uh, put picture inside picture. Like, let's say you want uh, someone to be watching TV in this little picture here, and uh, by the way, this is COD 4, and this is the map Crossfire. This is where I found that TV. Um, but yeah, let's say you want to uh, have like them watching something in that TV, then this is the way how to do that. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating with my background um, that I made myself a long time ago. Um, so it's just a picture, it's not video, but it works the same exact way with video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that I do not use pan crop in this because you can, but it's just so much harder because you can't zoom as far out in pan crop. And uh, if you try it out, uh, you'll you'll know what I say, or you'll you'll get what I'm saying. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. To get this set up, what you want to do is have your uh, clip um, underneath the picture. So you want to put a video track above the clip, um, and then drag your video or picture above it that you want to put in the TV. And then I'm just going to go ahead and size it up like that. Um, so anyways, what we want to do is we want to go into the track motion of uh, the top video track. Now the only thing that's the downfall to this is that if we want to use anything else in that video track later on, we're going to have to keyframe it because um, when you mess with the track motion of a track, it does the whole track um, uh, across the whole timeline. So you're going to have to do some keyframing if you want to use that track for other things. Um, so let's go ahead and go into the track motion. Um, now let's go ahead and go up here and check scale about center and locked aspect ratio and you'll see uh, why in a second. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and drag on the corners to try and uh, size this down a bit. Um, and then uh, let's try and get it the size of the TV and then and then you can just click in the middle of the box and drag it. And uh, we see that the dimensions of my picture are not the same as the dimensions of the TV. So if that's the case, go ahead and uncheck the lock aspect ratio. Um, so now I'm just going to drag on the corners a little bit more and see if I can get um, the size of the TV. And I'd say that's good for the sake of the tutorial. Um, so yeah, that's actually pretty much it if you have a moving uh, still image. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, play this real quick. Oh crap, hold on. Um, the first one you do is you want to go into the track motion again. And then if you start off later in the timeline, you'll see that you automatically create a keyframe. What you want to do is in the beginning, delete the beginning keyframe by just clicking on it right here. And then clicking the delete key like so. So that should fix the problem that I had right there. And then you see that uh, my picture is in the middle of the TV, and it works the same way with the video. Um, you can also add some video effects to make it look like it matches a little bit more, like make it a little more brownish uh, or so, uh, but uh, or maybe less quality because uh, the quality seems to be a little bit different. But uh, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, if you want to do the, the um, picture with the TV is moving, like let's say I'm scanning across the TV and you want the picture to say that you need a uh, keyframe the picture on the TV over the track motion but uh, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial guys if you want to send in your tutorial uh, there's a link to instructions below and uh, I'll see you guys next time